Well, good afternoon. Hi, Andrew. Hello. Uh, and I don't know who else is on. I don't know who else is here. But, well, good afternoon. And uh, I guess this is our first time we've tried to have a community meeting open and open to everybody. And so I'll just say we'll just go around real quick and introduce ourselves. So we'll just start out and introduce everybody on here. Andrew, you're on the community team, so Andrew. Yeah, uh, the, as I was uh, telling Emily, the audio is pretty bad, so um, I may or may not hear what you're saying, but I'm Andrew Hurley on the community team history department at University of Missouri, St. Louis. Looks like Fengton is also on. From yep. Hi, this is Feng Peng from UMKC. Actually, I'm from the climate team, and I'm happy to join you guys. Yeah, I, same as Andrew. Actually, I also have some problem hearing you guys. But Andrew's voice is very clear. <laughs> <laughs> and Peng Peng's voice is very clear for me. <laughs> so I think those are the mics right there, I guess, are they? Yeah, oh. they're on. I can try to get our uh, headphones. That would work. Yeah, maybe while we're, maybe we can, we can, we can, we can, we can, we can talk and try to get the, the new mic. Uh, they were going to have maybe a shorter meeting than we usually do, primarily because West Park High School and a master's student is defending today at one o'clock. So Bob and I have to be on his defense because we're his committee members, and our defenses are on Tuesday at one. So that's what he's having a seminar on his defense. Um, but what I thought we'd do today is this is the first time we tried to have a meeting with the community team. So I thought one thing we might do would be just to highlight a little bit of what the team members are doing. And what's going on right now, and then uh, I thought we'd open up uh, some things that Emily and John asked us to share, uh, just about some upcoming things, and then just open it up to other people without uh, questions. So I'll do the part that Emily and John want us to uh, share, and I'm sorry, John wants to share next Emily too because she's involved with this. But there are a couple things coming up that uh, folks should know about. First, if you know, uh, if you're interested in having a summer research student, uh, we're going to have money for that, and I think there are going to be multiple ways of how we might do that. So I think the best thing is probably for interest in having a research student this summer. I work on an undergrad research project to contact uh, me, and then I'll talk with um, with Emily and John. But I think the sort of short versions of that are there's going to be a um, as it is last one, we have money available. I know for the MU. Uh, students through S4, and then I think John has said that if you're at LU, um, so other institutions, and so on, they'll also be able to make money available for that as well for undergrad research. Um, the other thing is, is that I put on there something called LSAMP. LSAMP stands for the Willis Stokes Alliance for Minority Participation, which is an NS, NSF funded undergrad research program, and um, uh, Harris Stowe recently received an award for that. So, and it's Sarah Stone and a bunch of other schools. I don't know which ones exactly, but I think it's all the universities involved in F4, I think, are also part of this LSM. And so, um, so uh, here on our campus, um, and the over in the Office of Good Research is going to be working with us on that. And I don't know who's going to do it at the different campuses, but there will be some opportunities as that goes on. Coming into our F4 students to do that. We're going to talk about that. And then finally, uh, they're going to have, uh, Anna Walton said that they're working on a proposal for F4 research for the undergraduate program uh, that they're going to submit next year. 
So that's that we come to talk about that more as well. That'll be talking about potential projects and things like that. Right now, mainly if uh, you are interested in doing an undergrad research project with the undergraduate student, uh, let me know and we'll, we'll pass that on. But that's going to be true for all the teams as well. Okay, I think we're going to talk about that. Um, so that was one sort of uh, update that way. The other thing, uh, we're trying to schedule a team meeting um, between the, between the uh, community team and the uh, um, education team. And so I think if y'all have ideas on dates, we were, Terry, I know what dates we talked about. We talked about particular dates or not yet, have we? But anyway, we need to we need to figure out dates. So if you have ideas, I'll turn it on me to probably this week next week to try to set up some dates. That would be over in St. Louis most likely. Okay. So why don't we go ahead and just uh, maybe yeah, like after after year or something. Yeah, it'll be in January sometime. Yeah, it'll be probably between between after New Year's and before school starts. Okay, so sometime in January first and seventeenth. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll touch base with Troy and get some suggestions. Okay. And our plan was we were going to just drive over. Probably those of us here are going to drive over to the other over to the Um, and so we'll get with 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 uh, tip with uh, Terry about about dates. And, and um, and why don't we go ahead and just uh, maybe just update what the team is doing? So, only an error in the tech. You want to start out? <laughs> um, so I guess updates from November, um, I believe we last met, um, we are working with FEMA to facilitate a workshop in a six-week resiliency open workshop session that they have. This will be the first time that we're piloting our Toolkit that we've developed. Um, so we're looking forward to seeing how that works and looking what the implementation is like and then doing some revisions based on that. I spoke with Jeff as well about some opportunities for collaboration after that um, in the areas where he's working. So, um, and our community commons website, I should also mention, that should be live and ready to go by the second week of January. Um, and that will offer the online mapping of reporting tools for the indexes. Um, it will also offer opportunities for us to add in other research that community team members have done. If there is anything that they'd like to share publicly, um, this will be accessible to anybody who wants to set up an account on the community comments website. So um, that could be a great way to reach out to the public. Um, so we can talk about options for that later on. Um, we're scheduled to do a webinar on February 17th. Um, so we'll be talking about what a lot of uh, what's happened kind of with that. We did, yes. Yeah. We need to end the uh, coming team meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that looks like, we're, looks like we're back again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Now we hear somebody. Yeah, we can we can hear you again. Yeah. yeah. Now we now there's no audio now. Do any of you know? You, what, maybe you could write on a. a piece of paper and hold up the paper and we can communicate that way. But well, you can turn the chat. Andrew, if you look at the chat. Yeah. Oh, I see. I can write, type in things there. Yeah, you can. I think they can hear us. I, we just can't hear them. Not sure. You hear us? Use your hand if you can hear us. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Uh, 
now we think now you can hear us. Yes. Good. All right. All right. So what you missed was was they're doing lots of things. <laughs> no. uh, I guess I was well. Uh, we'll have minutes typed up, but basically, uh, this going to be a web a webinar on February seventeenth. That's right. The webinar February seventeenth about community commons and about the resilience work and uh, indicators of the work they're doing with. Uh, and Andrew, why don't you go ahead? I'll give it a try. I'll try to make it very brief. Uh, here at UMSL, we're continuing to work with the city of St. Louis's urban vitality and ecology initiative, which uh, its mission is to reconnect or connect people in St. Louis to nature. And we're specifically focusing our efforts in the Wells Goodfellow neighborhood where uh, the Sanit Metropolitan Sanitary District is buying out homes that are flood prone and there's a planning effort underway to redesign that space as green space, as green infrastructure. And so I'm working on the community engagement part of that in, to bring a uh, environmental change and climate change perspective into the planning process through uh, the what we call place stories uh, project which is to have people in the neighborhood record photo narrations about meaningful places in the neighborhood as a way to gain insight uh, into local perspectives that are based on uh, it, historical understanding of environmental and climate local environmental and climate change Yeah, anything. Okay, yeah, Jeff did the webinar last week, so. Yeah, I'm just continuing to work on that and uh, focus in the, um, during these winter months is more outreach to more community members to grow the pool of people that we have outreach efforts. Well, I'll mention, uh, let's see, so Bob and I on our project, uh, we actually had our first two master's students finishing up, so Eric Fischel, and last year, did the Columbia part looking at ag, Columbia residents, and kind of land making decisions and how it went to wildlife habitat is kind of a sort of thing. And then Wes is doing a similar project down with Wood Hill and he finished. So they both have a lot of uh, information about what that starts to get at um, how local residents do what they do, managing the property, and how it might relate to. Climate change, climate change. So we're going to be hoping to combine that. I think for uh, Wes, his work with kind of ag producers, small towns that they came together a little bit better. Uh, part because he was in the last get culture down and all this. And uh, Columbia, we're still kind of piecing together some of the pieces of what Eric did. But they both did a really good job. One thing I should mention too is that we did, I met. Uh, with Danielle, uh, Daniel Fox, who is the city conservationist, I'm sorry, urban conservation for the city of Columbia, uh, and also is yesterday with Brian Dabbs, niece. So, yeah, so, uh, and uh, we talked a little bit about some of the work they're doing on sustainability and three, and three neighborhoods uh, in uh, Columbia. <coughs> I would say premium just plunge, that's the wrong term. Three neighborhoods that get, three neighborhoods basically get, my name is neighborhoods. Some information that I like to do. Resilience. And we also have two students who are two. Two members, I think, uh, victory today. 
Um, she said she's in class. Oh, okay. Well, I think the teacher is in class, but I don't know that's right there. So, oh, <laughs> so maybe it's Sonia in class, and Mark's not here. Um, SNR is doing interview. We're interviewing the director Team is the other person who sometimes participates, uh, for those who are not on the community team, is uh, Joel Berkeley. And so he joins sometimes, sometimes doesn't, but he's interested in um, like some of the tools to develop. And kind of there's a variety of ways to look at, find, look at how uh, people like these people He participates. So uh, I guess our next step really is just open up to anybody. Or not. Um, again, what we're what we're hoping to do um, in January, so the next we're gonna or in January we are gonna have a meeting. We're getting ready to meetings that we might have a chance to talk about. And uh, as far as uh, we're here, we get to know that we're supposed to be meeting, I think Pat and I are going to get to go with Jenny and then uh, maybe going to Kansas City. Uh, either in January or February to talk more about some of the links that they're interested in. So that's really all I that's really all I have to invite somebody to think anything. We bounce around different ideas and you know collaborate with the community team to find more for each other. So I think that's really good to do you think prior to that meeting, we can exchange information so that we can So, so, what we might do maybe in January, right now will be the what, the ninth first? January. Yeah. The 10th is, uh, well, actually, the first Tuesday in January is the third. Want to try the third? Is that too early? No, okay. <laughs> we'll try for that. Uh, so, maybe January 10th, we could maybe plan to have some kind of community team discussion about. Whether it's a full meeting or, or a discussion, maybe January 10th or January meeting. I'm out of town that uh, that day. We, we thought maybe so. What we may do is we'll just change emails before that, and then maybe we can set the date if we need to talk or something. Would that work? Well, I just wanted to share information so we have time to, so I can know what education we can do. Oh, 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 I see. Doing, so we have time to, like, I didn't know if there was a way to coordinate that so we could be exchanging if it's more just like writing up a quick summary we could do with you. Yeah, I'm a grad student on that project. I don't want to speak I certainly think Troy and Terrence can work on coordinating some kind of thing with Charlie. Were those PowerPoints, were those self like one of the PowerPoints we did at, at the meeting in Raw, would that be helpful? As a starter, yeah. I don't, I'm I don't just remember. Trying to, like, yeah. I'll bring it to. And also, the meeting will be interesting to, to you all what you'd like to see. Yeah, I mean, like, so part of it, I mean, at least on the side that I'm working on, part of our task is in education modules um, around the F-score focus that you yeah. can use. Um, so we have four of those that are running. Already done 
traditional ones right now on the website. So featuring aspects of the of change work that most of that has focused on um, the plant science work and the things that come up based on the work in Bradford and then Tucker on the Prairie. Um, and so like some of the specific like the flood from areas that we're talking about in St. Louis, um, I think that would be a really nice one, but we have uh, three teachers that are in St. Louis area schools that have already put together a unit around flooding and that well, I think some of the data that you're getting is the work that the university could help us strengthen that uh, and I'm sure there are things that that you do that we just don't know about yet that, that could help really inform how we shape some of the Um, I guess one last thing I, I will I will mention we talked about a little bit um, in the team meeting was that Harris Stowe uh, as well last year we had our, our meeting in St. Louis, the all hands meeting in St. Louis, uh, two family members from Harris Stowe came and uh, Terry said that they're still engaged and also they have someone from the Jackson Center, excuse me, urban, urban, urban agriculture class. So, um, and I think with this just starts as any great research option, it will be more involved from Harris Stokes and maybe some opportunities to part with them and, and, as well. And um, the other thing I want to mention is I think that uh, the body of we've contacted, a little bit of contact with the LU Impact Center. And, um, really? No, St. Louis. St. Louis. St. Louis. So, we haven't really gotten much beyond just talking with them, but I gave us a contact there. And so there may be some additional people in St. Louis that maybe we can you know, maybe involved as well. But I know the Harris Hope has been in that sport, maybe maybe involved in particular students. Thank you. 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 Otherwise, if there's nothing else, thank you all for being on. And, and hopefully, are we going to do these for all the teams now to do these kind of webinars or just once in a while? Uh, I guess once in a while. Hopefully next time we'll do one. We'll have a full committee team. We'll have everybody. All that. Uh, this is Wes's thesis. <laughs> so one o'clock will be depending on everything. Anyway, thank you all for uh, coming today and Merry Christmas. Happy New Year and all that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye bye. Who's the flyers this high by the West Harbor yesterday? Out here.